So I want you to just start here, start like a, in a Shikodak stance, a little bit uh, wide like this. And then I just want you to sway a little bit from side to side. But as you sway, look how my body's turning. I'm moving to my left, but my body's turning to my right. I move to my right, my body's turning to the left. And let your arms just kind of hang. And I really want you to try it now. Try to sit down like on your left butt cheek. Then try to sit down on your right butt cheek, but turning the body as you do it. As you turn to your right, as you go sit down on your right butt cheek, you're turning your body to the left. As you sit down on the left, you're turning your body to the right. So, and just try to do this like a stretch also. You're moving, but you're also kind of stretching. But what do I, how do you stretch? As you do this, try to keep, keep going while I talk. Keep going. As you do this, I want you to try to keep from here, which is the base of your spine, up to the crown of your head, the top of your head. Try to stretch that out. Like there's, there's your spinal column is, is naturally curved, but try to just stretch it up so the crown of your head is reaching for the ceiling or the sky. There, there. And as we do this, now we're going to let, I'm moving to my, to sitting down on my right gluteus. I want you to look to your left and let your right arm come up like this. Now your left arm come up as you go the other way. Right arm, left arm, right arm, left. Now turn this hand into a naiwanuke, naiwanuke. Okay, now here, I want you to come up like this. So arms are like this, and your foot, I want you to make sokoto foot. Sokoto foot, you need to lift your big toe up. So I just wanna show you really quickly, if you struggle with this, put your feet back down on the floor, both of you, uh, everyone. Lift your big toes up and push your other toes down, again, and down, itch. Knee is exercise for the big toes. Sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, and ju. Now, back to our movement. Feet apart here. Yeah, naiwanuke, naiwanuke, naiwanuke. Then come up on one leg like this and straighten your spine out so the crown of your head is reaching towards the top of the sky or the ceiling keep your arms like this and then come back down again now we're going to do the other side go up on the other leg up if you can if you have room the garage is kind of in my way but i'm doing like jodanuke with my right arm so i want my arm very close to my ear and put this arm a little bit different this time. Put the arm here in front like this and just stand on one leg. Now, as you're standing on this one leg, you're trying to reach the top of your head towards the sky and stretch your arm and all along here and also big toe up. Try it, try it, you can do it. Good, and down, a little bit more. Side to side. Sit down and blocking nylon but slowly just to so, try to be aware of your whole body as you do this moving with the body and then the arm follows the arm follows the body once more on the other side here so my left arm is up by my left ear not here but here all the way up and this arm here in front like this and stretching my top of my head towards the sky and my right foot is making sokoto. And down. A little bit more. We're gonna do it one more time on the other side. Sitting down, sitting down. Ready? Right side, so I'm on my right side. Reach this arm up, Jodanuke. Remember, Jodanuke is not here, it's here, close to the ear. And this arm is here. And the big toe was up, so I could kick Sokoto if I needed to. 
And so we're stretching and moving. Okay. Now, let's get down into a push up position. Okay. We're going to do a half a push up. We're going to go down halfway. Itch and hold. Itch, knee, sun, she. Push up. Okay, next time we're going to go and do the same thing again. Hold up, hold up. Let's keep it in the plank. Let's do the same thing again. Ready? Go. Halfway down, itch, knee, sun, she, and up. Now this next time we're going to go down halfway, then we're going to go down halfway again. So halfway, itch, knee, sun, she. Now three quarters, itch, knee, sun, she, and up. Come on, get up. Push up position, ready. Halfway, itch, knee, sun, she, three quarters, itch, knee, sun, she, and up. Good, now let your body come down and touch the floor. Look up like a cobra. Look over your left shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. And put your toes back on the ground and walk your hands back towards your feet so that you're in a downward dog stretch. Stretch it out. Bend your knees, jump up, and up. Good, guys. So, stand feet apart, side by side. Close, open. Close, open, like a bird. Open. And as you go do this, you're coming forward and down. Then up, forward and down. And then up, open, close. Open and up, close and down. Open and up, close and down. And up, close and down. Now, doing like this. When you come out, open like this. Then close, open, faster. Open. Close, open. Close, open. Look to your right and do a rack in, letting your body turn out, and then it closes. <laughs> Look to your left, bring your elbow up, open the body here, and let it close as the arm comes back. Changing sides, itch, knee, sun. Look where you're going, sheep, go, rook, Sitch, hutch, coop, and do a little faster now, ready? Hitch, knee, top, cheek, go, rook, sitch, hutch, coop, do. Now up and down, up and down. As you go up, I want you to strike. Your arm basically stays straight. It comes up like a like an elephant trunk, but straight, hitting with the top of the fist, the knuckles underneath the chin. And as you hit, body drops down, then come up. Body drops down. Hitch. Knee, changing arm each time. Hitch. Knee, drop up. Sun. She. Go, rip, sitch, hutch, coop, two. I remember that one. We're going to need it a little bit later. Okay, time to get into. <laughs> yeah, I was lucky, Alexis. Sorry, it was, it was just me allowed. <laughs> okay, we're going to start with the Kihon section for first cue. Kete Sando Junzuki. Sando means three times. You all right, Kyo? Okay. Kyotsuki, yoi. Junzuki, dai, kamai, kamai, te. So we're going to kick and do three punches with that rhythm. Kick, punch, 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 like that. 
So go slow with me. Itch. Like that. Kick, punch, punch, punch. Knee. Take two steps back. One, two. Itch. Knee. And back. Back, back. Tug. She. Forward. Back punch, back punch. Hey. Punch. Back and punch, back and punch. So this is just like uh, for second cue. I think it's the same. Change side, right side. Going forward, hitch, kick, punch, punch, punch. Knee. One, two, back. Knee. Ton. Back and back. Cheat. Go. Back. And back. Sonoba Ipon Toru. Hitch. Kete Sando Gakazuki. Same thing, but starting with Gakazuki. So kick. Gakazuki. Junzuki Gakazuki. Knee. One, two, three, four. Now go back and punch Gakazuki. Two times. Knee. Sun. Back, and two. Cheat. Go. Punch strong. Change stance and punch. Go. Rook. Punch, punch, punch. Punch. Back. Long stance. Good. Two. Yame. Okay, yoi. Junzuki dari kuma. Come on, take. Kete Junzuki Natsukomi. In your videos that you sent me, I saw many people not doing, you have to go straight and then lean. So I'm straight and then lean into it. Okay? Don't, don't stay here when you go forward. That's no good. Do you understand? I have, when I kick, I've got to straighten out. Then lean in and punch again. Okay, Jun Zuki Natsukomi, starting in the left stance. Hitch, get there. Junzuki Natsukomi. Knee. And the other thing is I want you to get in the habit of looking up your arm like your arm is a telescope and or you know just you're looking right up at your fist. Go back. Hitch. Knee. Knee. Sun. Back and punch. Back and punch. Sun. Chi. Back and punch. Body straight. Change stance. Change arm. Go. Rook. Back and punch. And again. Sun. Lean with your whole body so your body weight is going in. Go. And back. Far back. Far back. Come on back. So H, kick, lean in, punch, back, A, punch, EMA. Did we do both sides? Did we do both sides? I think we did. Okay, Yoi, Junzuki, Dari, come on, A, Gakazuki, switch, Kete, Gakazuki, Natsukomi. So again, when I do this move, I'm leaning forward. I have to straighten out when I kick and lean in. Straighten out, then lean in. 
When I straighten out, it's important that I not come up. Let me show you what I mean. Try not to do this. Yes? Keep your body down and pivot here. Pivot and then punch. I'm straight. Now I'm going forward again. Okay, let's try. Left Junzuki. Switch to Gagazuki inch. Kete Gagazuki Natsukomi inch. Me. Sun. Chi. Kick sharp. Make sure your foot is in the right position when you kick. So pull your toes back and hit with the ball of your foot. Hitch. Punch. Ku. Chu. Ayame. Now ready. As a reminder, when we do these, for Junzuki, when you turn, you do Jodan, okay? Although you kick first, you do Kete Moate Jodan, yes? For Gakazuki, we do Kete Moate Gedambarai. For Junzuki Natsukomi, we do Kete Gaiwanuke. And for Kete Gakazuki Natsukomi, a kick and naiwanuke, inside lock. So please practice those at home on your own. Okay, the next one, last of the kihon, uh, last of the kihon zuki is Tobikomi Nagashi Zuki. For this, start in yoi, we go forward into Gidari Shizentai, like this. And remember, we want to drop our body down. The punching hand goes on top. Punch, turn the opposite part of the body out, then around and in. Going forward, itch. This time, before we practice blocking like this, blocking like this, blocking like this, this time all you do is bring this hand up under your chin. Can you see? Like this to cover. Just natural here and then down into guard. Sun. Chi. Now think about your body. I saw some people on the video just kind of turning the foot and not opening the body enough. You really need to move it from here to here. I don't know if you can see. From here to here, it's not enough to just kind of stay on the same line and turn the foot. Let's do a few more. Go. Yeah. Go back. Put your right foot in front. Do the same thing on the other side. Keep your hands closed. Keep them in front of your body. Body moves first, then the arms. Inch. And look up at your punch. Don't look off into the distance one side or the other. Hitch! You want to look where you're punching because your head weighs a lot and you want the force from the weight of your head to go into your punch, not that way or that way. So look where you're punching. Tell it! Aya! And your intention. You want your intention going that way, so you need to look that way again. Aya! One more, two, and yemi. Now, get yourself a quick drink of water. It's hot. We need to stay hydrated. Be quick, though. <clears throat> okay, that was your Kihonzuki section. The next is the Kion Gary section, Kion kicks, basic kicks. The first one is challenging. It's two side kicks. Sokuto Gary Chudan, Kekayashi Sokuto Kikomi. So Chudan is there, right? Then when you bring the foot back here, the second you, you're not gonna put it down. You're gonna kick a second time, a little bit off the center line. My first kick is going dead straight. 
straight, then I have to come back and look at how my foot turns when I do that second kick and the first kick. It's, you can't just kind of go boom, boom like that. That's rubbish, no offense, okay? You gotta really kick in, bring it back, and kick in again, and then bring it up again before you put it down. Let's try. Left fighting stance, come on, take it. Right leg, two down, then knee level, kakomi. Hitch, one, two. Knee. Sun. Chi. Okay, pause. So again, I just want to remind you, this foot that we're standing on has to turn a lot. And then when I bring it back, it turns back to the front. Then when I kick again, it turns a lot. Then it turns back to the front. And then I set down and I'm ready for the next one. Let's do five or six more. Left stance. Hitch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Ella. Yame. Another thing to always work on with Sokoto is kicking down and in, right? Or if it's out, you kick in. It's not just letting the leg, you don't want it to be like this, where it's just kind of hinging on the knee. It should be thrust with the heel, then back and then down. It's very demanding. It requires almost every muscle in your body Every muscle in your body, it demands. It's good exercise. So if you do it a lot, it'll actually help you get fit. Okay, next one. <laughs> From the very, very hard to the very, very easy. The next kick is called Sokugari, and it's just a shin kick. I'll show you. You just stand in fighting stance, and you just kind of swing your leg at the person's shin, like that. You're still hitting with the ball of the foot, and generally speaking, you kick outside the shin bone. So I don't wanna kick someone straight on. That might hurt my foot. I wanna kick them here on the outside a little bit, or sometimes maybe on the inside, if I can get a good angle for that, sure. Not dead straight, but we practice the kick straight, but we're assuming that the person is turned maybe a little bit like this, or maybe a little bit like this. Okay, now, why is this kick on the first Q Brown belt syllabus. I mean, this is already a very advanced grade. You're getting ready for black belt at this point. And this is this looks like an easy kick. Well, I have a lot of theories. One of my theories is that when, especially when kids are starting, they have a hard time doing my Gary at a good height. So we have to teach people to lift their knee up and kick before we can teach them to keep the knee down and kick with the whole body. So the energy for this is coming from here, right? For my Gary also, the energy should be coming from the same place, but to get a good strong kick, you have to use your whole body here without lifting the knee. So to do this well is actually more complicated. <laughs> so let's try. Left fighting stance. Sokugari, shin kick, hitch, me, sun, chi, back up, go, rook, cinch, ayo, and yami. Okay, that's the second of the kiongari. The third is my favorite. It's also difficult to do well, but honestly, I just think it's a lot of fun. It's this, Mawashigari Jodan, Kaiten Ora Mawashigari Jodan, Maigari Chudan. So it's three kicks, let's do it. Jodan Mawashigari, and then step forward, itch. Now I step forward, I'm already down because I'm gonna spin, looking over my left shoulder, and I'm gonna do a spinning 
or a Mawashi Gary. And I land in front. And now the third kick is really to test our balance. If you're going too much this way, you'll fall off balance. But your balance should be center. And then you do my Gary. Let's move back. Start with the right foot in front this time. Mawashi Gary Jordan. Turn over your right shoulder. Or a Mawashi Gary. And my Gary. On the syllabus, you will see it says Kaiten or a Mawashi Gary. Ora means hidden roundhouse kick or a Mawashi Gary. Kaiten means spinning. Let's do it left side. Side. Move back. Right side. She. I love this one. If you have a hard time kicking high on the second kick, you can kick lower. That's okay. Go. Front. Hands up. Cinch. Two more. Let's go, guys. Two. Oh, I lost my balance that time. Two. Uh, that time also I lost my balance. Oh. Right? Okay, get a quick drink of water. Okay, so the kicks, you have to practice a lot. Uh, you need good flexibility, good balance, good coordination, good stamina. They're really uh, a good test of how skilled you've become at this point in your karate training. The sooner you get there, the sooner you'll be ready for brown belt. Um, also, uh, I just, I've always taken a lot of pride, to be honest, in our students and how good our kicks are. We have always had excellent kicks in our dojo. So practice a lot, please. We want to show everyone what great kicks we have. Okay. We're moving on to the Renzoku. These are, some of these are a little bit long. See, the first one is six moves. The second one is eight moves. And the third one is six moves. The first one, Okuriyashi, Jodan Nagashi Nido Junzuki, Ayumiyashi Chudan Nagashi Gakazuki. And then same thing again, but you'll be on the other side. So it's six punches, moving your body. Let's go. Left fighting stance. So both punches are to the face, right? So the first two punches, but we gotta do Nagashi. So we're moving in. As we move in, we turn our body off the line. One to move on the same line. Then, Ayumi Ashi, step through, turn your body, Gakazuki with the same arm. Yame, we actually did this, I think maybe it was the fourth cue or third cue syllabus. We did exactly that, those three moves. We did one, two, three. So this is the same thing, except then we're gonna immediately do four, five, six on the other side. Let's go, left side. Itch, knee, son. Right hand is in front, itch, knee, son. So, and then straighten out. Now, if you start on the left side, it's gonna be left, 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 then right, right, right. Starting on the left. Itch. Straighten out afterwards, okay? You should finish here off the line, see the line? Then straighten out. One more on that side. Pitch, one, two, three, four, five, six. Straighten out, then back. Right side now. That's right, it's a workout. 
Hit. Right, right, right. Left, left, left. Straighten it out. Move back. That's right. Keep breathing. The trick is don't hold your breath. Breathe while you're doing it. Hit. And again. Right side. Hit. Last time. Hit. Straighten it out. Yeme. Okay, the next one, the first, well, a little bit different. So we did punch, 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 six punches. Now we're gonna do punch, punch, kick, punch, punch, kick, then punch, punch. <laughs> two punches, one kick, two punches, one kick, two punches. Uh, yes, glute strength helps avoid hamstring pull, it sure does. And honestly, uh, if you have any dumbbells, everyone should do squatting while holding your dumbbells, or you can hold them, you can hold one heavy dumbbell like this, or like this, like a cup. That builds your strength. Um, when I was going to the gym, you get a big barbell and you lift, you lie on the floor or on a bench, and you lift with your pelvis. It's incredible for the glutes. Okay. Actually, Alexis, um, if you have dumbbells, or even without dumbbells, I look for something. You want to put your foot on a chair, like here, and then just practice squatting on one leg. If you can hold some 10-pound uh, weights or 5-pound weights, it's, it's even better. Okay, next one. Number two, left stance. Okuriashi Chudan Jodan Nagashi Nidozuki. So it's you gotta punch Chudan Nagashi, then Jodan. Now, see how I'm not quite on the line. So I want to kick here, then I'm gonna shift to the other side. Jodan punch, Chudan punch. Kick straight on the line, then Jodan, and then Gakazuki. All right, let's do that again. It's Chudan, Jodan, kick. Then Jodan, Chudan kick. Left side, Chudan, Jodan, Maigiri, Jodan, Chudan, Maigiri, Jodan, and Gakazuki. So your body's going left, right, left. Left side again. You need a lot of room. If you don't have a lot of room, just shuffle your feet. Hitch, one, two, kick, one, two, kick, punch, and punch. Okay, we're going to try it on the right side now. Right side, Chudan, Jodan, Maier, Jodan, Chudan, Maier, Jodan, Gakazuki Chudan. Right side. One more. Hey. Yay. Yeah. Right, number three. Okoriashi Juno Arakanuchi Jo uh Arakan Ageuchi. Remember earlier? Practice this with me again. We did up, sink the body down, right? Do it, left side, right side. Think about your arm coming up and striking underneath the chin. One, one, two, okay? So that's the first move. Then immediately, same, almost same time, doji ni means same time, you do a kick. So from left stance, do age arakinu chi, same time kick and step forward. Let's do that again, just that. Try to make it like one, two, yeah? Hey! Again. 
Me. Side. Do the other side, right side. So right arm rocking, left kick. Pitch. Me. I gotta go faster. Strike and kick almost same time. Pitch. This is very effective for fighting. You distract someone or try to hit them. You're not distracting them, you're trying to hit them. But if they move away, they don't see this one's coming just a quarter of a second later. Works, works a lot. But the only way to make it work, you've got to make this vert. You can't just throw your arm out. You have to really try to hit the person and then follow through with the kick. All right, let's go. So that's the first two moves of it. Go, Arakin, my Gary. Now, imagine there's another attack coming, maybe a kick. You have to get out of the way, do this move. This move on the syllabus is called Uchio Koryashi Juno Chudan. Nagashi uke. You just call it chuden, mid level, nagashi uke, moving your body out of the way. Okay, left stance, arakin, maigiri, nagashi uke. Now, keep your eyes on them, right? Then this hand that just covered immediately becomes a punching hand. I go forward on this line, jodan, same hand, chuden, and then the other hand, jodan. And that's the technique. Let's do it again, left side. Arakin, Maigiri, Nagashi Uke, Jodan, same hand, Chudan, Gakuzuki Jodan. Let's try the right side. So right Arakin, Maigiri, Nagashi Uke, Jodan, Chudan, Jodan, Gakuzuki. Right side again. Arakin, Maigiri, Nagashi, Jodan, Chudan, Jodan, Gakazuki. Okay, back to the left side. Let's try to do these at full speed. Ready? Hitch, strike, kick, move, punch, punch, punch. That's full speed. Right side. Hitch. Left side. Right, tuck, I messed up there, left, go, right, right side, A water break. Okay, so we've gone through the kion, basic punches, kion zuki, gone through the kion gari, basic kicks. We've done the renzoku waza, three combinations. Now kata for brown belt, first cue. Kata is on the day of the exam, the examiner, Sensei Tyrone, will pick one of the pinan katas, any one of them. You have to be ready to go. Boom. So what does that mean? It means you have to have all five pinakatas perfect. Not perfect, of course, because no one does them perfect, but you can't mess up, okay? This basic kata, you just need to be able ready to go. And so you need to just kind of maybe put pinan nidan, shodan, 
up to go down, put five pieces of paper in a hat, you pull one out, do it right away. Put it back, pick another one, do it right away. You know, so you gotta be able to do them all out of order whenever you want. Now, uh, we're not gonna practice or review Pinan Kata now, but we will go over Kushan Ku, which you have to do for first cue, and we'll go over Naihenshi, which you have to do for first cue. So we're just gonna run through Kushan Ku. We spent a lot of time on that, I think uh, a week or two ago. Let's do Kushan Ku, and then we'll do Naihenshi. I'm going to do it shuffling my feet so that I try to conserve space. Chotsky, stand nice and straight. Remember at the beginning we practiced standing tall with our head reaching for the sky. Do the same now whenever you take attention stance. You know what the stance is called, by the way? No? Masubidachi. Yoi. Oh, not yoi. First, let's say the kata. Kushaku. Okay. Go a little wider than normal, look down the top of right. Itch. Just go through it. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Step directly to the side. Don't move back. Don't move forward. Itch. Knee. Sun. Turn. Block, uh, kick Yoko Gary. Itch. And Shuto. Knee, sun, and nuke this. Hey! Right arm up, left arm down, big turn. Hitch. Kick and slide in and go down. Arms up. Hitch knee. Repeat. Hitch. Knee, kick, move forward and down. Sun. And come in, stand feet together, toes together. Those together also, Haisoku Dachi, Yoko Berry, and Harayuke Ish, and Piyuchi. Coming up, pull back on your left elbow. Look to your right, same thing, Ish. Behind us, Shuto Uke, Ish. 45 degrees, Ish. 135, open your back leg. 45, Ish, open the back leg. Big movement, right arm up, left arm down. Hitch. Kick and a racket. Eighty. Ika. Move back with your left foot. Guy on it. Hitch. Nido Zuki. Hey. Corkscrew turn around and down. Right hand close, left hand open. Knee up. Down. And turn. Shuto. Knee. Sun, sink down. She, punch. Behind me, uh, guy one inch. Make fist closed. Nidozuki. Yoko Gert, and guy one. Hey. And shoot. Otoshuke, push left hand down. Turn body. Step forward, strike nuke dead. Head goes towards the hand, big turn. Leg goes through, boom, turn, and strike. Then slide in, racking, hey, empty. And like this, and step across. One, two, three, four, and double kick, hey. Across, turn, down, and up. Left, right. Okay. That was just kind of going through it slow for review, I guess. Um, let's just move on to Naihenshi. You know, I'll probably teach a whole class on Naihenshi, but not tonight. So let's just kind of go through it quickly tonight, as quickly as I can make it. So Naihenshi, you don't need much space. Goat skate. Everybody. Right? And we say nice and loud. Now, Henji! Yoi. Left hand on top, feet closed. Arms up and around, just like Kushenku, but now they're going to come up and into the chest. And then down and around again. This time, left hand is on top. I'm going to look to my left 
I'm going to look to my right. You guys know what to do with your muscles, right? And we're going to step to our right with our left foot like this. Arms come up. This one comes here. Go here and strike. Nai hanshi dachi. Strike with the side there. Now, NPUchi with your left elbow. Itch. Come back center. Look to your left though. Block. As you block, pull with your right arm. Itch. Hanezuki. Kanezuki. Punch and let it come back. Step across. Block guy one. Block down. This arm is now in this position. And strike out with it. Don't turn your body here. Itch. Look to your left. Sharp. And Namiyashi. Lift the leg and turn your body. Look to your right. Namiyashi, right side. Turn your body. Boom. Then down. Center. Look to your left. And both arms going to shoot out to your left. Itch. Now, slowly, carefully, pull your right arm back. Let your left hand palm open up. Elbow comes down. Mpuchi. Itch. Back to center. Knee. Left arm is by your side. Right arm is in front. This one comes in and then blocks down. Itch. Hanezuki. Diagonal punch. Step across like this. Step and turn. The right arm shoots out a little bit, then the left arm blocks down. Right arm punch to the chin. Itch and pull back. Look to your right. Namiyashi. And turn to your right. Look to your left. Keep the arms where they are. Namiyashi. Turn your body. Back here. And double strike there. The MA. Right foot comes all the way in. Open the feet and your bell. Once more. Ready? Hanshi. Yoi. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Look left. Not me. Hey. This cut is very difficult to do correctly. It's all about what's happening on the inside. So you need to develop your core muscles. It's one of the reasons why I always have us do those core exercises. You need to get strong here because you need to be able to compress your center muscles, your hara and your core muscles to make this kata happen correctly. Really, you need it for every technique. Um, and beauty of this kata is you don't need much space. And it's very important, so you can practice it. Shumit Sensei once told us we needed to practice it 30 times a day for six months. <laughs> I tried. I didn't quite do it that many times, <laughs> but I sometimes did. Okay, moving on to the pairs work. We have Kumite Kata, five and six, and Kion Kumite, three and four. Let's go. So... The attack for Kumite Kata number five is going to be right fighting stance. And then just slide in, punch, and hold. Yeah, that's it. Now let's talk about what Torimi does. Torimi steps back into right fighting stance. Come on, tip. That punch is coming, so we're going to hook it with Kakeyuke, like the end of P 
Pinan yo down and go off the line just a little bit, off the line and hook. Immediately hook and then punch with the same hand. So the hook, the blocking hand becomes the attacking hand. Here we go. Pitch, one, two. And then this hand is up to cover. Then we're gonna go on the inside of the arm. We're gonna move back with our right foot, move in with the left foot and punch with the left hand. And then punch with the right hand. Cover and away. Let's try again. Here comes a punch. Kakeyuke and same hand punch. Knock the arm out of the way, step back, step forward with the left and punch. Push on them and punch with your right hand. Once more. Block, punch, move, punch, punch. Once more. Okay, number six, the attack is the same, except it's on the other side. The attacker is going to take left stance. Hidari Kamai, punch. That's it. Now imagine that punch is coming here, so the left foot is going to be in front. We're going to be, Torimi goes right stance again. That punch is coming here, and we're going to step a little bit off the line, block and punch with the same hand. We're going to block their punch with our elbow and ride up it, and then punch into underneath their chin like this. It looks a little bit, a little bit like Pian Shodan. Once more, right stance. Here comes a punch, duck, block and punch, same time. Use the same hand to strike Arakan across their neck. Then go to the other side of their head, push, and shuto, like that. And away. Once more, right side. Aye. Here comes the punch, duck, Block and punch, Arakin, off balance and strike Shuto Uchi, chop. And again, number six. Come on. Hey, me, son. Once more. Hey, hey, hey. Now moving on to Kion Kubite number three. The attack, what Ukemi does. Right fighting stance. And it's a punch. Then we're gonna move the front foot back and open to make space for a kick and bring our knee up. But we're not gonna actually get the kick off because they're gonna stop us before we stop get that kick going. Okay? So it's like a punch and then an attempted kick. So punch. Pull back and open, lift your knee to kick, and then just hold it. And then you're going to put it down. Actually, afterwards here, you're going to put it down behind you. Let's do it again. Number three, punch, open, kick, hold, then put it behind you. Once more. This is what Ukemi, the attacker, does. Right side, punch, open, kick, hold, and Step back. So, Torimi does this. Miki Kamai, you remember this move? It's the same. Always the same for numbers one through seven. Pitch. Then they're going to try to kick us here, right? So, we're going to move inside. We're going to hit them with our left hand on the inside of the leg and punch them right down here, right above the belt, into the belt where their gallbladder is with our right hand leaning forward. So if you imagine the kick's coming here, I'm getting just on the inside of the kick and hitting. So the kick, if the kick were to go, it would, in theory, it would go behind me. Right now it would kick me. Right now it would go behind me. Right fighting stance. One, here comes the kick here. Get out of the way, bam! And back to here, once more. Right, fighting stance. Punch to face coming, one. Kick to body coming, two. Sometimes you see in kata this move with the arms crossed. This is like that, right? It's a little bit like that. It's not, not exactly the same, but it's a little bit like that. Last time. 
Punch the face coming. Deflect. Move in. Bam! Left punch, right punch. And away. Also there, try to elbow the person on the top of the leg. Difficult to get all of it at the same time. All right, number four. Kion Kumite number four. Ukemi, the attacker, goes left side. So usually, attacker's right side, defender's right side. But sometimes, attacker's left side. Number four, left side. Punch. They're going to move over here, so we're going to follow them and punch second time with our Gakuzuki hand, Jodan that way. Both punches to the face. Down away. Let's do it again. Hidari Kamai. Jodan Junzuki itch. Boom. And again, Gakuzuki. Boom. A little bit off the center on that one, right? Then here. Okay. Torimi. Right fighting stance, Kamai. The first move is the same as the others. It's a little bit bigger because they're on the opposite side now. One, we block the punch. But now a second punch is coming to our face. We have to turn this way, block Naiwanuke, but sort of open hand version. So we scrape along the outside of the arm. And then as soon as we finish guiding it past us, we attack the arm with Shuto, like that. And lean in and punch with the right hand. All these punches are Ippon Ken, Nakedake Ippon Ken, which single knuckle punch. And we're gonna punch them right underneath the shoulder blade of their attacking arm. Right side, here comes a punch, one. Here comes another punch, turn to your right. Block with your left, go back in, attack with the left and then the right. So we come here for a sec. So face me, take right fighting sets. Okay, so first punch to face and hold. Oh, sorry, change, change to left stance, please. Uh, come on this side. Left stance, punch and hold. We'll hold it out, hold it out. Second punch, hold it out, punch the face. So I move this way, I block it, and then I'm going to attack. So this brush and then attack. Brush and then attack. And in. Same time. Thank you, Zoe. Let's do it. Let's do it by ourselves again. Right fighting sense. Come on, take it. Harayuke. Left hand. Boom. Oh, turn body to the right. Go in. Bam. Anyway. With these moves, you want to feel like a, a tree that is swaying in the wind and then snaps back. So, one, do it, sway, and snap, and away. Once, last time, last time, last time. Ready? Here it comes. One, sway, and snap, and away. Whew. That was a lot. So listen up, folks. We're going to bow out in just a second. Stay with me for another minute. Um, we got through all of it, except for the Goshen Ho, which we can skip for now. Um, we're going to do this again next week, either Monday or Wednesday. And um, I have given you uh, video recordings in response to your Flipgrid videos that you sent me, those of you who sent. So you need to go and log on there and you need to listen and watch what I have responded. Okay, I spent a lot of time doing it, so I expect you to do this, do it do it now. Um, and I want you to practice over the next couple of days and then I want you to record again your kihon, the same ones you did last time, provided you did the right ones. If you did the wrong ones, you gotta do the right ones, okay? Um, Zoe, do I need to set up a new grid for, for them to submit new videos or do, can they just submit again on the same grid? But they can record another one under the key home? Yeah. Okay. So you can record under the same section that I set up already another video. So make sure you do that under the same section, please. That's due at Sunday at 5 p.m. And I don't want to have to text you guys to remind you, although I probably will. So please do it. Thank you very much. 
Um, let's bow out. Zoe, please. That's great. What's again? Great. We got to the Zemashtat. You got a family member? Boom.